Selfie with fire! What's up guys, it's Daz here. Be ready to care because there are skulls here which you can shoot and what shoot? You can slice and it will just explode and give you ruby rupees! I don't even why do people have money in their heads? I don't really understand how it works, but oh well. Welcome to the Fire Temple, Dragon Roost Cavern. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come over this path, lift up this block, and then make it as a little bridge thing, teaching us more mechanics with blocks. Mm-hmm. Oh man. You know how on Outset Island people were saying, man, you I bet you get hot in that clothing. Imagine how hot Link must be feeling right now. He's literally like inches away from lava. Or see? Look how close that is. Damn, and Link's just like, yeah, I'm a badass. Also, Keese. These are bats, but in the Zelda games, they are called Keese. I'll let future dads do more bio stuff if there's more bio stuff to say. There is a goodly good. Now, blow up this rock and let's get on forwards. Now, destroy these jars here, but don't destroy these ones. These jars are special. They have. Well, they have water inside of them, and so when you throw them on lava, they make a solid platform for you. And I got a little worried that I wouldn't make that jump there. Now with that, we can get this chest, and what do you think's inside? <gasps> you got the thing! You got the dungeon map. Alright, let's go pick it up, and walk about, and sprays everywhere, and after a while, the platform does disappear, so you know. Be prepared. And there's something up there. I can see it. It says there's something up there. What is it? It's a red shoe and it actually hurt me. Ow. Okay, what you do? Just hit it. Problem solved. One of the easier enemies in the game. You get a red shoe jelly. Keep it in your spoils bag. This gelatinous goo comes from deep within red shoe shoes. It is effective as a cure for exhaustion, but it can be used in its but it can't be used in its current state. You collect if you collect 20 of those, you can then go to a potion shop at Windfall Island and you can make a red potion which will heal you. Now I don't really think they're gonna be helpful to us because we have two hearts and three quarters. It's not really too big of a deal. And hello, hello, hello! I didn't know you could smash through the wall or through the wood. I was just planning to like let you attack me from the other side of the wood without like hurting me because you're stuck. But I was wrong! But from you I've learned that I you're stronger than me because how how did you break through that and I did oh you have this okay that makes sense he has his own special sword which breaks through everything why don't I just carry this around then if it's so much more powerful also I wanted to throw that but never mind now then, let's go through here and take your chew jelly take your chew jelly and how do you feel oh you don't feel oh yeah that's because you're dead sorry Right, we're going to take this sword up here and- oh my god, and seriously, more chews? Could I- do I really need more chews right now? Really? Okay, come over, jump for me, fail, miss, make weird sounds, let me throw the sword at you, pick up your chew jelly, and let's get going. Good. What? Bah! And I like how even if you're holding this sword, the moment you get in this chest, he'll like drop it and it will go flying and like it might skew- it would skewer him, but look at this. Oh, oh. Wow, okay, thanks for just completely defying everything I said. Because the first time I did this, like, I just opened the chest and it just went <laughs> and it was gone. It was like, I don't know where it went, but it was just like, ugh. It would have skewered him in like 24 and a half pieces. Yes, half pieces, because that's the logic. Right, so here you see we have bombs. So I believe maybe, okay, that was not what I wanted to do. Maybe a rock? Because you got to hit it with something, right? You wanna, you you wanna hit it, but you can't just unless I got an item in here that's like got range or something. Cause I, huh? I'm a little bit confused. There we go. I knew it. You just had to throw something onto it. I just, I guess I get missing or something. But anyway, you blow up that bomb. It blows up the second bomb, and this blows up the rock. And now we've gone a whole, we've done a whole circle. But now we have keys, not keys, cause those are bats. Now we have the key or a key. We can open this door here. Ooh. And in this direction you will find a place we can't go to because there's a gap of lava which we can't jump over. There is also red chew- ow! Red chew jerry. Jerry's? Je je Duh. Red chew chews. And they're jellies. Yeah, they're so jealous of me right now. Like, you're so jelly. You're red jelly. You're red with anger jealousy. 
jelly. Yeah. I think I'll stop now while I'm ahead. Okay, dude. Were you hiding in a jar or something? What was that? I don't even know. But I will now light you on fire and light this wood on fire. Yeah. Surely that would also take out the whole frame, but uh, whatever. And that opens the door. Yeah. Puzzles. Very, very easy puzzles. Bumpity bump and through the door. Oh, we're outside now and look how high up we are. <laughs> I'd say that, but I'm too busy destroying jars to actually show you. Sorry. I think we're at around the back now and oi, 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 what are you gonna do? You gonna do? You gonna hear me? You gonna hear me? No? Okay, well, please just Bye. Whee! I like how we <laughs> Where? He's like fly he was like waving his arms and everything, like, where is my life? <laughs> I'm laughing at others' pain. Okay, wait. Now, for some reason, you see how there's clearly lava peeking through Ooh, this ladder. What is this ladder made of? Is it wood? Because wood would not survive that. I mean, sure, there are burn marks, but Jesus, I want my ladders made out of that. Not that I have ladders, but you know. And now we have these guys. Future Daz, feel free to do that bio. Kargorok, your basic bird enemy. They can drop rare golden feathers. Ugh, those things are annoying and... Oh, I wanted that! Oh, it's down... Oh, is it worth it? Now oh, go on then. Da -da -da -da. You got a gold feather. Keep it in your spoils bag. A certain strangeness emanates from the quill of this beautifully shining golden feather. Winged girls are said to be infatuated with these treasures. Ooh, now can I climb up here and not get burnt to death? We will give it a go. A good go. Yeah, it's fine. That was easy. What even... What is that inside? That's a really weird texture. It reminds me of, like, spores and mushrooms more than, like, larvary stuff. But okay. This might have been bad timing. Link, Link, please, please get out of the way. Oh, okay. Phew. That was scary. Okay, we can't destroy you anytime soon just because we don't have bombs. Or bombs, sorry. And... How do characters do this? Like, I can... I can barely just, like... Well, actually, no, I can, I can hold myself off a ledge. But I can't, like, take one hand off to stretch it further to the left or right. Like, I swear most characters do this without even thinking about it. Like, how we walk upstairs. But it's just so... I guess that's the trade. In real life, we can just walk upstairs and not worry about it. But we can't really climb along a ledge like that. But then, or at least I can't. But then, video game characters, they can easily climb along that sort of ledge, but they can't climb up the stairs properly. They just walk and then they magically like go upwards and, hello? Is there something in here? I'm thinking maybe there was like a rat that goes from there? Or it's a pathway that takes you back out here. Yeah, that's my guess. Okay, here we have another itty bitty puzzle. We just want to do that and there you go, all solved. It acts like a little staircase for you. Isn't it nice? I'm actually tempted to think now that there's actually more stuff under there. Like, nah, I doubt it. I doubt it, but like a little pathway. Now I'm gonna destroy these rats because good God, they anger me. Okay, there we go. Unfortunately, I don't actually right now know the name. Okay, my butt is talking again. What do you have to say? Daz, have you seen any filthy thieving rats? I know they are annoying, but keep your wits about you. They are only rats. If you spread bait near their, me their nest, they may share their store of treasure with you. Why don't you try it? Oh, I, I, I would have, but I've already killed them, so sorry. Where was I? Oh yeah, I don't actually know the names of these enemies yet, mainly because, well, I, I did. I looked them up and they're all, my memory's just blanked out. But, you know, in my next session, I'll know all of the names and I've probably, like, future me has, like, looked it up and told you anyway, so. For now, I won't be naming them by their enemy names. But in the future I will. You got the compass. Awesome. Now we're going to use these deco sticks because we don't have the key to get to this door. So we're going to use this deco stick to light it and throw it all the way over there. Oh, that's satisfying. I don't know why. I just... Link has such a good throwing arm that, you know, I just... I like it. I like it a lot. Now then, what does this treasure chest have to say? It doesn't have to say anything because it's an inanimate... It's an inanimate object. You got a small key. Yay. Climb up this, and climb up again, and let it go. 
Alright, I like how Lick has like the tiniest little boots, like, and the sole of it is like perfectly flat, which is a little bit odd. Anyway, climb up these stairs, even though you're not actually climbing it, you're just walking, and look, look at this, see? Video game characters cannot climb up stairs, it's just, ugh, it's horrible and jaggy. But oh well. <laughs> your height, you're, you're sitting on a key. How did that not hurt? Well, I guess they're used to eggs, and that probably would have hurt it anyway, but... Well, there goes another one of those golden feathers. Oh well, it probably wasn't that important anyway. Hello, blue rupee. Give me door, key, open, thank you. And then, oh boy. The fact that they've given us so many Deku sticks makes me think that we've got a long way to run. So let's just do it now. Running in the fire and oh god, keys. Can I burn you all? Because that would be nice. No? Okay. I think I'm just going to keep going running for now. Light up everything. Hello, please. <laughs> I had to do like two full circles before that actually moved. Okay. It wasn't too bad. I thought it was going to be like three or four rooms of that, so I just wanted to get them all done and then, you know, come back later. But I'm just going to... Oh, come on. I wanted to throw it out the bats. The keys. But oh well. All right. Oh, actually. Oh, ah, there we go. Wow, that looked really cool. Like, I just... All I did was kept targeting different people, but it like... It just like changed from like one angle to like the complete opposite side. Hopefully that didn't make any of you dizzy. I'm not really one who gets dizzy very often. That being said, I hate roller coasters. Ugh. You got a joy pendant! What a waste. A good treasure chest. But oh well. I mean, it wasn't too hard to get to. Now, let's go back into the big main room. Ooh. And now we're right up pretty much to where that lava place was. And how do I... Oh, okay. I was going to say, how do I destroy this rock? I don't have bombs. But we do. We have bomb plants right there. Oh, I should probably get out the... Wait, that not hurt? I don't think that hurt me. Well, if it did, then ouch, but it certainly didn't It didn't feel so powerful. Now, actually, I should probably show off about those pots. Those pots, they're basically teleportation devices. I know, who would have thought? You go in it, and... You come out right back at the beginning. Remember this place with the two? Yeah. Well, now we can just... Wait, hold on. The colours are different, which is sort of confusing me. I always would have expected, like... The blue to go to the blue one and the green one to go to the green one but or purple or whatever color that is but oh well it's just a little way to like get a shortcut through the temple if you don't want to go through everything again which is very nice now let's get these more pots let's get these more pots yes and door through go yes hello I'm here for your dinner and by that I mean I will kill you and then not eat you because I'm not a cannibal or vegetarian or Wait, what? Okay, neither of a cannibal would not be eating someone of another species, and nor would a vegetarian. That's ah, oh, I need to learn my language, English. Yeah. Now you might be thinking, why is the door still locked? Well, okay, please. There we go. There are moblins. I believe these are moblins. Inside of jars, literally. Like, ah, oh, this. I don't know, like, I guess they expect you to go close to them, but like, that one was on a shelf. What was it ever expecting to do? Was it just like there, writing its little diary or something? Writing a love letter to some random stranger or something? Like, what is the point? Well, well, at least now we know when they're gone. And how do they, how do they, how does the room know when all the enemies are gone? And I'm just gonna keep taking these joy pendants, because we're gonna need 20 of them. Yeah. But like, ugh. It's the, ugh I don't even, ugh. I, I can't understand this world, seriously. I mean, why why is the whole world an ocean anyway? Of course, I expect that's something that will be explained in the future, but still. Wahaha! More joy... Wait, there was just a joy pen in there? Does that mean, like, someone was in there, but then not anymore? Okay, if you say so. Now, you may see over there, there's a little bit of a gap. But there's two torches, and I wasn't supposed to fall down, unless there's a Deku stick here. There is! Good. Because... Here is another optional and secret, well, I'm not sure if it's optional, but here's a secret chest that we can get. Now it's pretty easy, I'd say, well, yeah, I'd say it's pretty easy to find all of the treasure in these games just because they give you the map and the compass which tells you where to go. And you got a treasure chart! Open this chart on the map screen and a place where treasure lies will be lit up. Sail to that area and then use the chart to find treasure. This is basically like a second collectible that you can get from the game, so you know, obviously there's heart pieces which will get you a bunch of 
heart containers after a while. But there's also treasure charts. Since this is just a massive world of sea, there are obviously going to be a lot of treasure about. Like, very pirate themed, I guess. So, oh, this room. I remember this room with this creature right here. <sighs> Future Daz, please do a bio while I have fun with this thing. This is a magtail. The best way to kill it is to parry it. I didn't know this at the time. What you're supposed to do, you're supposed to wait for it to like open up towards you. Come on. Look, there we go. You hit it and then it, it just goes back into the lava. You, it's not supposed to do that. Because when it goes back in the lava, it comes back forever. Or again, uh, no, what? You didn't even hit me. <coughs> you literally just like poked me in the butt. Well, you poked me with your butt. Okay, you know what? I don't even, I don't even, oh, no, come on. Let me spin a dude. What? Is that it? Oh, oh, I pick you up. Okay, okay, yeah. Let's try that again, shall we? Yeah. Not very effective, because he's right back again. I thought there was a water patch there. There wasn't. What if I was to... Okay, seriously, pick up a jar. I'm going to do. Go over there. Oh, it works! You just hit him with water! Okay, you know what? Fine, I'm going to grab you. I'm going to take you back to my territory. You're in my land now, sir. You've come to the wrong neighborhood. You are not dying. There we go. Thank you, and you give me three hearts because you're such an awkward enemy. Ugh. Thank God it's over, but uh, it infuriates me. But now that's over, we can go onto this island and throw water on here. And then, uh, there we go. And now with the geyser, it's going to lift us up with all of the magical powers of magic. And up we go, up to the next level. How friendly and nice of it. As I was saying with the treasure charts, there's obviously going to be more treasures, and I'll try my best to show off where all the collectibles are, but I don't really know exactly because this is only my second time playing the game, and even the first time I didn't 100% it. In fact, at the time of this recording, I haven't even finished the story or anything, and oh, there's more of them over... What are you doing? Are you just like... You're defy... What? Are you... You were just doing that in midair. I didn't know that was even possible. But there's there's the boss door. How intimidating, right? Look at that. It's in another monster head. Don't tell me it's in another monster head. No. Okay, good. But ugh. Anyway, so just destroy these skulls. And what we can do with this bomb, as I'm sure you've picked up by now, destroy more of these rocks and miss completely and waste time. Ah, okay. If I, there's probably a way I can get two of those rocks at the same time, but I don't really want to bother with that. And, oh, that was just a shortcut anyway. Okay, let's try the other one. Ah, but we can't get over there yet because there's a massive lava gap in the way! Oh, that was cool. I like how the camera changed and Link's just there, like, rolling towards the camera. That was good. Ah, but, yeah, I'll come to more on the treasure charts later, I hope. But if I can't, if I miss something, you know, which is probably likely to happen. I'll try my best not to, but if I do, do feel free to tell me and then I'll be like, oh yeah, I made a mistake, let's go and fix the problems of everything. And then hopefully this will be going to go very well as a let's play. We shall see. Now, let's go to Valu. Oh, Medley, you're trapped. And so am I. Now, I like this place because it's like, it's a little arena, so it's obviously like all fight battle and stuff. And I just, I like the music. I don't know why, it just... One of those things where it's just like, like you know what? I think I'll just, I'm just not gonna talk for a while. I'm just gonna let you listen to the music because it's really dramatic. I bet it's gonna stop now, isn't it? Nope. Here we go. Our first fight against this guy. I'm tempted to say this is the Moblin, actually. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> With that, the music ends, and I actually had a hard time fighting that guy first. Now, girl, treasure, girl, well the treasure's gonna disappear, so whoa! You destroy these little pearl things, you get loads of money, often items, and a skull necklace, which is exactly what I was pointing out back in the Forsaken Fortress. 
They're like collectibles you get off of these moblins. I'm sure these are moblins, but I was calling the other thing moblins, and I don't know why. Well, I guess it's like, they're kind of the same species. What are they, goblins? Maybe. Oh well, I really need to do my research, but I'm pretty sure the big buff piggy guy who smells a lot is, um, in both definitions is a moblin. That looks creepy. Look down again. Like, I didn't see your yellow eye. Uh, hello? Are you calm down now? Yeah? You, you good? No? Hello? You okay? No? No, you seem alright. Okay, hello, Medley. How's life? Daz, you came to rescue me! Oh, thank you! I have to tell you what I found out. This is terrible! Some creature is doing awful things to the great Valu's tail. That's why he's so angry. The great Valu's tail hangs down in the room right below here. There's got to be something in there. I wonder if those mean monsters who captured me have something to do with it. We've got to do something now, before it's too late. I'll go and tell everyone what's happening. Hey Daz, use this to get out of here. It's what I used to get this far. It's a device we Rito used before we evolved wings. You got the grappling hook. This was an item used by the Rito people before they had wings. Okay, and that is our mini boss item. You can use it to haul things from the sea floor while on your boat. Here, Daz, climb up on the le little ledge over there so you can so I can show you something. Okay, well we're gonna do that in the next episode. In the next episode, that's exactly what we're gonna do. I messed up the outro. What a surprise! So I guess I'll leave it off at that. My name's been Daz. You don't really care, and I'll see you in a bit. Go on in. Yo! <laughs> oh man. There was so much satisfaction in that. And his dead body is gone now. Come on, we can do. We can do. I don't get this. What? No. Why'd you have to put the letters in the wrong order? All the way! Oh my god. You know what? I don't even care. Bye.